All right, so the next thing that I want to show us is how to add transitions into the timeline to connect between two clips or between an A roll and a B roll or between text. You can do all that even within images or a video or within a particular video. You can do all that from here using in this film or at all. So all you need to do is to go ahead and select a particular clip, a particular position where you want to add a transition. For example, I may want to add a transition between here and this video, okay? The main arrow and this bureau, I want to add a transition. So all you need to do is to make sure you select, select that particular section, and you can come all the way to transitions over here. So you can see transitions, there are a bunch of transitions that we have in Filmora tool. You can just check, you have trending ones, you can go ahead with the default. You can check on the default and you have different kind of transitions. You have basic transitions, and you have 3D transitions, triple resolve transitions, speed blur, you have warp, you have lifestyle, you have slideshow and linear and many, many more. You can just go ahead and explore. And as you hover over any of them, you'll be able to see a preview of what it does in your video. So you can check on the film stock also. You can check on them and you can see a number of transitions, that, transition effects that you can easily add into your video. I used to use this cross dissolve or dissolve transition very, very nicely. And you can add that into your timeline. So select any of the transition as you hover over, like I've explained, you'll be able to see what kind of transition it is and what effect it's going to have on your uh, on your video. Okay. So let's say we want to give a try on this um, on this uh, resolve feature. You can just click and drag it and drop it into the timeline. You can see we have added it into the timeline. You can see how long it is. The transition is going to be this much long. So you can see you can it dissolves in. Okay, it just dissolves into the, as the, the girls are coming in, you can see it dissolves in, okay? But the period of the dissolution is quite long, so we can make it smaller, we can shorten it by selecting on the transition, come to the edge, and you can just shorten it here, or you can lengthen it accordingly. But let's say we shorten it to this point, so the transition is going to be a bit faster. So you can just go ahead and play it. Uh, you can see the movement, the transition, Okay, it's now faster. So let's try to play it and see. You see, very fast. So this is how to add transition. If you want to add an exit transition also, you can just select, drag it, and just add it also at the exit point. So it can use the same transition effects, maybe to dissolve out and then back to the main transition. Okay, so you can see it dissolves back. So very easily, you can just add any transition of your choice. Okay, so to move across the videos. So you can do the same on this image as well, as you move, not just to cut directly into it, you can select a given transition feature or transition effect from the new ones, okay? Let's just go ahead and select from the new ones. You can see camera transitions. You can check on any, any one of your choice, okay? So these are new, brand new ones. But let's say I, I may be looking at the default ones, okay? So let's say we have this box done, okay? So let's use this box done and just add it into the timeline okay so you can just select drag it and drop it here uh, let's wait for it yeah it's there so you can just play so you can see the transition you can select it and shorten it so it transit a bit faster so let's play it one more time you can see it, it moves pretty fast. So you can use any one, you can use any of the transition effects, be it on 3D, basic, speed blur, or any other one. You can just go ahead, select from any of them, and just uh, drag and drop. And you can have the control of the transition also by selecting it, you can come all the way here and you have other control features, or by double clicking on any transition effects, you will have its features shown over here. You can apply different things and you can do multiple things with it. So another thing I used to do when it comes to transiting within the same clip, for example, while I'm explaining this in the same video, and maybe I want to transit, I want to create a transition point. If it is within the same clip and within the same video, what I usually do, I usually just create a cut. Create a cut by hitting a letter C. Create a cut here and what I do is I kind of zoom in on one of the clips, okay? So it just stay together, but then one of them is zoomed in a little bit. So to just sound look much more professional. So let me go back to the main control and select this particular clip. 
come come over here and just select it and you can come all the way to edit feature over here and then you can come all the way here and you can zoom in and you can zoom it okay you can play around with you can go back to the video control and then you can come to the scaling over here so you just scale up okay you can just scale it up one thing you should just pay attention to is you have to make sure that the eyes are almost at the same point okay so you can just bring this one down a little bit so let's move backward and then you can see it just quickly moves to something bigger okay from here to here and you can see it create a simple keyframe okay so i think this one kind of makes it appear much more professional so i don't have to add any basic transition across but i just create the zoom in and then when i get to where i want i can now zoom out or we'll zoom it back to the normal one so let's click I'll click on letter c and create another cut here and then on this point from this from this one i can just uh, go back to the normal okay uh, letter v i'm now back so i can just go ahead and select this come back to the same editing tool and i can now undo this to take it back to the normal one okay so reset it and get it back to the normal one so so you can see the transition from here explain and then go back here come down to this and then i go back to gradually to where i come from so this is basically how to add transitions into your timeline and do some basic editings with it and make your videos appear and look much more professional you can put the same transition at the end also if you want to start and when you want to finish you can attach it to the same to text also if you have some text and you want to add the transitions on them as well so i think that does it for this tutorial thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one